everyone, it's Nicole again, and I'm here to do my September reading wrap-up. I only read four books this month, and two of them are graphic novels. So, not my best reading month. Probably, like, my worst reading month ever. But that's okay, because I went to Japan for ten days um, at the end of the month, and, I mean, I did read two of my books there. But just kind of preparing before that... It was just like a busy month and I was just like distracted with other things and I just didn't feel like reading. But that's okay because I enjoyed most of the books that I read. So I'm just gonna go through them all quickly because there's not that many. Um, the first thing that I read was Coyote Dog Girl by Lisa Hanawalt and she is one of the artists on Bojack Horseman, the Netflix animated series. I have seen like a couple episodes of this, uh, of Bojack Horseman, uh, and I'm, I'm trying to go through from like s uh, season one and watch through the whole thing. Um, but yeah, I got this for the Comics Experience Graphic Novel of the Month book club. Comes with a little book play. And this is just about a coyote dog girl. And she rides around on her horse named Red. And they just kind of go on adventures. And it it's a very cute, like, watercolor style. If you've seen it, Bojack Horseman, or just, like, seen a picture of it, it looks pretty similar. Um, this was cute, and I read it really quickly. And yeah, it was just, like, a cute little comic about a coyote dog girl. <laughs> and then I didn't read anything all month, and the next thing that I read was in Japan and this was I read this for contemporary a thon. I was gonna vlog but then I didn't bring my camera and my phone really does not take good footage because it's really old. Um so I read Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinbro. Um I don't know like what challenges this fits for um but I read this. Although it is a little speculative I think. Um, this is about a woman who hooks up with a guy in a bar one night and then realizes that that's her new boss and that he's also married. And so she kind of, uh, befriends his wife and then is also, like, still having an affair with him at the same time without, like, either of them knowing, or that's what you think. And they all, the... The couple has, like, secrets. They seem, like, very perfect. Um, but then there's, like, some weird stuff going on with them. And her and the wife both have, like, night terrors. And she, like, sleepwalks. And there's a lot of, like, weird stuff going on with sleeping and dreaming. And, um, so I feel like a lot of people really don't like the, like, plot twist at the end. But for me, I feel like I could feel that it was going in that direction because there's like weird stuff going on. So the the plot twist is kind of a little paranormal. Um, but I read another book of hers that was even more paranormal because there was like a unicorn in the book. So I was kind of expecting that from her and I feel like she kind of hinted to it throughout the book. And I thought it was, it was pretty fun. Um, like not like the best book I've ever read, but it was like really captivating. I read it really quickly and I thought the plot twist was interesting. And I feel like this would make a really good movie. I don't know if it's becoming a movie yet, but I feel like it's gonna be soon. <coughs> and then I read a manga, which I haven't read a manga in a while. I got this while I was in Japan. It's called Mr. Nietzsche in the Convenience Store. Um, does it say the word store? Yeah, there it is. Um, I got this for a friend of mine. I think she'll like it. Uh, but I'm a, I read it first. Because when you buy people manga books, you've got to read them first because they're so tiny. Um, this is about this, like, young guy who, uh, he's just graduated college and he can't really find a job. So he starts working the night shift at a convenience store. And he's been working there for a little while. And then this new guy comes and who works there. And he's, like, loves Nietzsche. He's, like, um... He's doing, like, Buddhist studies, um, but he, like, loves philosophy, and he's very, like, blunt, 
and not very good at like communicating with customers and so they're just like little one shots like each page is like one situation and it was cute and i think there's a couple other volumes this copy is like in english and japanese at the same time so that was pretty cool i've never seen that before i got in like cute little bookstore i just like to buy books when i'm in visiting other places so that was fun and then the last thing that I read was The Erstwhile by B. Catling. I technically finished that this today on October 1st because I stayed up till like 2 a.m. finishing it, but I feel like I don't count it as the next day until like I've woken up. So I'm going to count this as finishing in September. This has taken me like three months to read. It's the same with the first one, The Vore. That one took me like six months to read. I don't know why these books take me so long to read because I do enjoy them and when I'm reading them I read them pretty quickly and I'm having fun I just like never feel like picking them up and this like put me in a reading slump this month I think because I just wanted to finish it because I had like 150 pages left like all month but I didn't want to read it and so I just kept picking up other things and so I'm like 50 pages into like three different books right now um, but I finally finished this. I did like it, and I like this series. It's about this weird forest in this, like, German colonial town in Africa, and there's, like, weird stuff in the forest. It's kind of like the Tree of Knowledge, and it's where the Tree of Knowledge is, and where, like, God sent Adam and Eve and the angels to, like, watch over the tree, and the angels are these, like, creatures called erstwhile. And so it's about this town that's, like, right outside the forest and um, different people. This is the second in the series, so I feel like this one definitely felt like a second book in a trilogy where it's just, like, really setting things up. And I'm really excited to read the third one. I really want to see how he ties everything together. Um, but this one has, like, a new favorite character of mine. I don't know if anyone's read this. Um, but there is an erstwhile that you get to meet, and his name is Nicholas, and I like him a lot. Um, but yeah, those are the four books I read. This is, like, the shortest wrap-up I've ever done. Um, but let me know if you read any of these. Let me know what you think about Behind Her Eyes, because I feel like everyone's read that one. And if you've read Coyote Dog Girl. But yeah, those are the four books I've read. I'm gonna try to do more reading next month for October. I'm gonna try to get a Spookathon TBR up soon. I'm still recovering from being in a different country for 10 days. So, yeah, if I look tired, I am. But yeah, thanks for watching my four book wrap up, and I'll see y'all soon in another video. Bye!